A lot of YouTubers out there are really interested in getting a microphone, a proper microphone, for their videos. And that is a great thing. It's great for people like me that sell microphones, right? But in this video, what I want to do is I want to compare what it would sound like if you use a lavalier microphone versus the more popular shotgun microphone. Now, the reason why I want to do this is because if you're in a situation where you're indoors, for example, where I am at home, it is really echoey. And a lavalier microphone is a much better choice for indoor use. And a shotgun microphone is generally not as good, unless you have really good acoustics in your room. So let's compare. Right now, you're listening to the ETM-006 connected directly to a Canon EOS M. And so it was just clipped like right there on my shirt. So let's put that back. All right, so again, this is the ETM-006 going directly into a Canon EOS M. The camera settings are about, I guess, six notches above the minimum mark on the audio level when you adjust the audio levels manually. So I'm gonna switch over now to the Rode Video Mic Pro. Alrighty, now you're listening to the Rode VideoMic Pro. This is a really good microphone. I really do like this microphone. But like I said, it tends to work better when it is outside. Now, I am literally like 13, 14 inches away from the microphone. I can reach out. I, it's, I'm, not, I'm barely stretching my arm. <laughs> there it is. That's how close I am to the microphone. So this is ideal in terms of the distance you'd want you know, anything up to three feet is really good for a shotgun microphone. But I hope you can hear the difference between using a shotgun microphone in this incredibly echoey apartment that I live in and compare that to using a lavalier microphone. So when you use a lavalier microphone, it is so much closer. The everything gets picked up from my voice down into here so it just produces, I think, a much better sound when you're indoors. Now, I know that for convenience sake, when you're outside, there are maybe multiple people, you can't use a lavalier microphone, then great, a shotgun microphone is good. So I hope that was a good example of why I think you should use a lavalier microphone instead of a shotgun microphone when you're making videos at home for YouTube or for your vlogging, whatever it might be, all right? Let me know if you have any questions or comments about that and be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye. However, what you can do is you can in fact use the front camera to film yourself and still be able to export it as a 1080p.